Hey Vikes, today we have a story on the new Halloween movie starring some of the original cast. I'm Cody. And I'm Maddie, and now for your daily news. Don't forget to bring in your canned goods tomorrow for the last day of the It's Canned Food Drive. The seminar with the most donations will receive a pizza party and free tickets to the fall play. All donations will be given to the Topeka Rescue Mission. New Viking Brew Members Meeting has been moved from Wednesday Seminar to Friday Seminar, November 2nd, in Miss Averill's room. Congrats to our JV squad at Junction City, taking second individually in JV and first overall novice. In the JV division, Jace Reed took sixth place and Cade Fox took fourth in the novice division. Payne and Santa took fourth. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing fine arts at Seaman High School. Entry deadline is December 21st. The winning design will be selected on January 28th and will be produced on a freestanding banner to be used on FABC. We'll be right over to Maddie for sports after this quick commercial break. What are you doing wearing purple? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's supposed to be red, white, blue. My apologies, sir. National Thespian Society is hosting Trick or Treat so kids can eat. The event lasts all October and the winning seminar gets a pizza party. If you are going to get a sport physical or already have one for the upcoming winter or spring sports, please turn in all forms to the athletic office. Tryouts for winter sports begin Monday, November 12th. You must have your physical and concussion form on file prior to tryouts. All forms are available on the Seaman website, the Seaman website, or stop by the athletic office to get a packet for all forms. Freshman girls interested in playing basketball, there will be an informational read meeting on Friday during activity period in the freshman commons. 10th through 12th grade girls interested in basketball, there will be a meeting after school on Thursday in Coach Tinsley's room, right after school in room E19. There will be a boys swim team meeting this Friday, freshman at 10.50 in seminar, 10th through 12th after school. Both meetings will take place in room 911. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking a cold front that moved through this morning, and that's why our high of 62 occurred earlier in the day than usual. Now, throughout these time periods you see here, we could be looking at some drizzle, but overall, the amount of light rain that's going to fall is going to be very limited, and probably somewhere around 5 o'clock, we can't pinpoint down the exact timing, but just keep in mind, some drizzle is possible through the remainder of today, and it could be, at times, up to a shower. You can see here, again, mainly to our southeast, but there is that chance that exists here as well. As we take another look at your Halloween forecast, temperatures are still on track to be in the 50s with just a 5% chance of rain and mostly cloudy skies. So not too bad of weather conditions for trick-or-treating on Halloween. And now, if your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see 
that we do stay pretty cool throughout the next seven days with highs ranging from the upper 50s to lower 60s. There's a chance that we see more rain returning by Monday. Now, Maddie and Cody, back to you. So who's this Michael Myers character from this new Halloween movie that we've been hearing about? Well, he's basically the embodiment of evil, and he's the serial killer for the Halloween series. We go to me for more details. I have prayed every night that he would escape. Who the hell did you do that for? so I can kill him. The critically acclaimed horror series Halloween, a series about the killer Michael Myers, finally released a new movie, a sequel to the original, in fact. We go to some of our students to learn more about the evil of Halloween. He was supposed to be the embodiment of evil and like how like evil can never die, just like good, like, cause you know, as long as there's good, there's evil. So um, he can never die, which is like why, like, you know, he's <laughs> he survived a lot. They're trying to say that like his portrait of his character can never like outlive themselves or die because you can't have good, just good or just bad. It has to be both. So he continues living on. The movie takes place in Haddonfield, where the original did 40 years after Michael was captured in the original. As this movie ignores all the other sequels and only the original happened, ending with Michael's capture. In the original, um, Michael Myers, who is like the person like who's committing all the crime in the movie, um, he did it all on Halloween night, and then he was actually captured on the first one and put in an asylum. It ignores all the sequels, and so the only one that took place was the original one. And um, basically, uh, after the original one, Michael Myers was like captured and then put back in Smith's Grove Sanitarium. And 40 years later, he escapes to go back and kill people. Jamie Lee Curtis, the original actor of Laurie Strode, reprises her role as the teenage babysitter, all grown up with a family now, trying to survive Halloween like she did 40 so years ago. So when, um, like, I was very sad when, like, she left the Halloween movies and the sequels eventually because, like, that was a very sad moment for me. But um, I'm excited to see, like, how she can come back and portray her original role and, like, how she can, like, embody her character again after it's been it's been so long without like her in the spotlight of the Halloween movies like I'm just ready to see how she can come back and portray her original character and I'm just ready she's iconic all right I think it's great I think like it's I think you still get like the same feel of her from like the first movie and series so I think that's fun with a plot that will send chills down your spine and deaths that the Halloween series is known for, with the original writer John Carpenter working on the film as well, as everything a Halloween fan wanted. Cody Kaiser, SVTV. Halloween Michael. Wow, Cody, I never knew that before. It looks really interesting. Well, it's helpful to know when you're on the streets. You gotta stay safe from those serial killers, after all. <laughs> Next time, I'll be coming back with, yes, another video game story. I'm Cody Kaiser. And I'm Maddie. Have a great rest of your day, Vikes.